In this video, we look at entropy. Entropy can be thought of as degree of disorder. So here we have the particle models of a solid, a liquid, and a gas. The particles in a solid are very ordered. So solids have low disorder, they have low entropy. In a liquid, the particles are free to move around a bit more. Therefore, they have a higher degree of disorder and they have a higher entropy than solids. And in a gas, the particles are free to move around, so they have a high entropy and they are very disordered. So the particles in a gas have high disorder, therefore gases have high entropy. The particles in a solid have low disorder, therefore solids have low entropy. Matter and energy have a tendency to become more disordered over time. So next we look at some factors that increase entropy, so positive delta S. So a change of state from a liquid to gas, evaporation. So here we have a liquid, bromine, and if you heat it, it becomes a gas. The gas particles are more disordered, therefore we have an increase in entropy. Our next example is increasing the number of particles. When solid sodium chloride is dissolved in water, it dissociates into Na plus and Cl negative ions. So you have one mole of solid ionic compound dissociating into two moles of aqueous ions. That leads to an increase in entropy. Next, we have an increase in the number of moles of gas. In this reaction, we have propane reacting with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. On the left side of the arrow, we have six moles of gas. On the right side of the arrow, we have seven moles of gas. That's an increase in entropy. Our next example is the decomposition of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate decomposes when heated into calcium oxide. And so we have one mole of solid making one mole of solid and one mole of gas. That's an increase in entropy. Next, we look at some factors that decrease entropy. So this is negative delta S. So we have a change of state from gas to liquid, which is condensation. Here we have steam condensing to liquid water. Gases are more disordered than liquids, so we have a decrease in the disorder, therefore that's a decrease in entropy. Next is decreasing the number of particles. Here we have two moles of aqueous ions forming one mole of solid ionic compound. That's a decrease in entropy. So next we have a decrease in the number of moles of gas. Here we have two moles of hydrogen reacting with one mole of oxygen to give us two moles of water vapor. On the left hand side we have three moles of gas and on the right hand side we have two moles of gas. So that's a decrease in entropy. And the final example, here we have two moles of sulfur dioxide reacting with one mole of oxygen and that makes two moles of sulfur trioxide. So on the left side of the arrow we have three moles of gas, on the right side we have two moles of gas, so that's a decrease in entropy.